National Taiwan Museum has inaugurated its fourth gallery branch, the Railway Department Park. Located across from Northgate in Taipei, the 1.7-hectare site houses a multitude of buildings from the Japanese colonial period. The inaugural exhibitions, housed in the old railway offices, take the theme of Taiwan's modernization and the development of railway culture on the island. Present at the opening ceremony were President Tsai Ing-wen, Transport Minister Lin Jialong and Culture Minister Li Yongde. They listen attentively to the docent, who presents facts about the new branch of the museum at its inauguration ceremony. President Tsai was eager to try her hand at the interactive exhibits. We've reached a new stage of life under the pandemic. As we work to revitalize the economy, travel and tourism, let us not forget about Taiwan's rich cultural heritage and its diversity of museums and art galleries. For the people of this country, they're worth making multiple trips and learning more about. We have a miniature of what the area looked like in the 1970s. The models are authentic and detailed. Experts were consulted repeatedly throughout the process, including the design of the train models. Details such as the curtains and seats inside the trains were researched thoroughly. The government invested 700 million NT to carry out a five-year renovation of the new museum branch. The building complex was originally built during the Japanese colonial period to serve as the headquarters of the Governor General's Railway Department. It's a national historic site, so refurbishing the buildings was no easy task. We invited craftsmen from Japan to come over and share their insights with our craftsmen. That way, we were able to repair many things, like the moldings, and restore their original appearance. The old railway department office building is a half-timber structure built in a Queen Anne revival style. The ground floor is built in red brick with a wooden upper floor. Stepping into the entrance hall of the building is like taking a time machine back to the 1920s. It's a journey you can now take for just 100 NT.